Meghan Markle plans to take just 12 weeks maternity leave after birth of royal baby. Meghan Markle, the Duchess of Sussex, has made it clear she wants to return to public life with Prince Harry as quickly as possible. Meghan Markle wants just three months off with her new baby before returning to public duties, according to reports. The former actress is set to give birth any day now and could have taken up to a year off her royal work after the birth of her first child with Prince Harry. But three months maternity is the standard for her Native America, with Meghan, 37, said to be thinking it's right for her to return to public life after just 12 weeks. A royal source told The Sun, Meghan has made it very clear she wants to return to work as soon as possible. She has huge amounts of energy is extremely determined and wants to be as hands-on as possible with her charities. She's penciled in three months, but she'll most likely return to public life in six weeks on the Queen's official birthday, trooping the color, in June. Kate Middleton took just five weeks off after the birth of Prince George in 2013. She appeared with Prince William on August 30, 2013 in Hollyhead, North Wales to launch the Ring of Fire marathon on Anglesey, her former home. The news comes after Meghan and Prince Harry were said to be excited about the prospect of moving to Africa for work. The royal coupe looks at to a camp in Africa for an extended period after the birth of their baby. They like the idea, a royal source said. It would offer the couple the chance to harness the couple's international appeal. Royal sources said the African scheme was one of a number of options but nothing is off-limits, adding formal plans would not be in place until next year. The Times claims the move would also help repair Harry and Prince William's relationship, which is said to have been tarnished in recent months. Harry reportedly feels William and Kate Middleton failed to be sufficiently welcoming towards Meghan. It's a bit sad really, a source told Sunday Times. The wives don't get on. The brothers have fallen out. Harry's advisors, including Sir David Manning, a former ambassador to the U.S., have recently been exploring the idea of the African scheme. The prince, whose first child is expected in the next few days, has spent a lot of time in Lesotho, South Africa. He set up the Sintabal charity there in 2006, which supports the mental health and well-being of children and young people affected by HIV. And the prince, the sixth in the line of succession to the throne, has referred to Botswana as his second home.